Come and listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly. Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbilly. <laughs> can make these donors without using cement. <laughs> Maybe she does use cement. <laughs> Hello, Granny speaking. Oh, howdy, Miss Jane. How are you? Fine, Granny. We've just received a telegram addressed to Ellie Mae Clabbit in care of the bank. Shall I send it over? No, no. Open it and read it to me. I've been waiting for that. It's from the Savory Soup Company, and it says, Oh, <laughs> there, there must be some mistake. It says that Ellie Mae has won a cooking contest. No, no, that ain't no mistake. I know Ellie would win that contest because I made the soup myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I reckon it is cheating a little, but I'm desperate to get this girl a husband, and winning that contest can do it. Well, I sympathize with you, Granny, but won't Mr. Clampett object? Of course he will. Getting him to swallow this will take a heap of sugar coating, but... <laughs> I'll have to call you back, Miss Jane. John Barrymore just walked in. <laughs> you see? No! It ain't John Barrymore. It's Milton Sills. <laughs> You're too young for Milton. <laughs> Why, Jed Clampett, you handsome rascal. Have you gotten into your rheumatism medicine? <laughs> Jed, I, I was only funning. But you are an uncommon handsome man. I often wondered how you stay single. But I reckon it's because Ellie Mae ain't married yet. Granny, are you fixing to tell me something? Not while you got that axe in your hand, I ain't. <laughs> Before I tell you, I want you to promise not to use no bad words on me. Well, I wouldn't do that. Well, Ellie Mae has done one first prize in a cooking contest. How? That's a bad word. <laughs> you broke your promise to me. How could Ellie Mae win first prize in a cooking contest? That girl can't boil water. She didn't win it for water. She won it for soup. Soup? Well, this company was looking for a new soup, and Ellie won it with Snyder's Surprise. Now, Granny, you're the only one in this family can cook Snyder's Surprise. Jed, what difference does it make? The winner will be on TV and get her pictures in the paper. And the men will be flocking around this place like crows in a corn husking. <laughs> Granny, it ain't honest. Jed, I knew you'd be unreasonable. Uh, hold on. It's right and it's wrong. And this is wrong. Now, you get on that phone and call that soup company, and I'll tell LMA she's pulling out of the contest. No, 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 Jed. Don't do it. I'm warning you. It'll be a terrible shock to her. There's no telling what she might say. I'm sorry, but LMA? You are pulling out of the cooking contest. What cooking contest? <laughs> Gee, I warned you there's no telling what she might say. What y'all talking about? Never mind, Ellie. You've had a terrible shock. Now run along. <laughs> yes, I'm Granny. No, stay here, Ellie. I want you to know what your Granny's been up to. Well, what, Granny? I've been up to trying to get you a husband. That's what. Oh, what's wrong with that? Well, uh, never mind, Ellie. Uh, run along like your granny said. I'll straighten this out with her. Well, I sure hope you're gonna let her get them fellas by me. Run on now. Now, granny. No! There it goes again. 
that terrible stabbing pain. I ain't long for this world, Jed. You ain't, huh? No. And I sure would like to see my grand-granddaughter married before I go to my reward. Slipping fast, are you? Yeah. Everything's turning dark. How long do you think you got? Not long, Jed. Not long. Then get on the phone and call that soup company. <laughs> Jed, don't you want to see your daughter married? Of course I do. Well, that sweet innocent child don't know how to trap a husband. I got a heifer. But it ain't right trapping him with your bait. Jerry is done past the prime marrying age. We're dealing with a middle-aged woman. I thought she was a sweet innocent child. Naturally. You're her father. <laughs> you call that soup company. It's terrible to be old woman. Nobody loves you. Folks all yell at you. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. I'm talking about Elton. <laughs> oh, savory soup company. This isn't the savory soup company. <laughs> Granny, is that you? This is Granny. I just want to tell you that Ellie May Clampett can't win that contest because she didn't make Snyder surprise I did. Thank you, goodbye. What was that? Uh, hello, hello? Granny, you've done the right thing. I think I did, too. <laughs> Coming over to see me. That he was from the Savory Soup Company. Where's your paw? Out front. Want to go tell him? No, no. no. <laughs> I'll handle your paw. Well, want to go to next more donuts? No. no. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Well, Granny's gonna expect something. Well, he just bragged about my cooking the pizza van. Yeah. Well, we'll wave that crick when we get to it. Now, you go upstairs and take a nice hot light soap bath and, and put on that dress I laid out for you whilst I get shed of your paw. Well, why do you want to do that, Granny? Don't Paul want me to meet fellas and get spoke for and married up and all? Of course he does, darling. It's just that men don't know how to manage things like this. <laughs> you just trust your old Granny. Well, I do, Granny. <laughs> Sweet thing. Pretty, too. She'd make some man a perfect wife if she was just 14 again. <laughs> William S. Hart, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's just in fun. <laughs> you fooled me again, it's Jed Clampett. <laughs> I declare you are getting handsomer every all right, Granny, what are you up to this time? Well, I'll be honest with you, Jed. There is something you can do for me, long as you're sitting down here with your gun and your dog. What's that? Shoot me some fresh bear meat. <laughs> In Beverly Hills? Well, no, I think you'd have to range out a little ways. Say, to Utah. How would I get to Utah? Turn left at Arizona. <laughs> Come on, Jed. I got my heart set on eating grizzly and gravy. Well, you better get your heart set on something else. Well, how about some wild moose jowls? Moose jowls? Well, how long has it been since we've had some good wild moose meat? Penny, I am staying right here. You can't, Jed. You gotta go. <laughs> Why? Well, uh... Uh, for Duke's sake. All that hunting talk you've been doing has got that poor dog stirred to a frenzy. <laughs> you don't look stirred to me. Not from that end, maybe. But this end is raring to go. <laughs> Down, boy. Down, boy. It's too late, Jed. That high-spirited animal can't be held back. He's got to go hunting or have a fit. <laughs> Get you off our backs. Duke and me will see. Can we jump you a few rabbits? Not cottontails, Jed. Fetch me some jackrabbits. Them big rascals. Mountain jacks. The kind you have to find way back in the high country. Well, right, I'll have Jethro fetch the trip. Come on, boy. <laughs> 
Come on, Duke, let's go hunting. <laughs> Some powerful frenzy he's in. He's just waiting for the truck. <laughs> Is Miss Hathaway, I don't like it at all. Using this bank as a mail drop to fraudulently win a cooking contest. Oh, I'm very angry with you. Chief, I told you Granny did it. Well, why yell at me? Well, you don't think I'm crazy enough to yell at her, do you? <laughs> but Chief, I'm sure Granny doesn't think she did anything fraudulent. She only Well, she did. And that's what this is. Out and out fraud. Granny cooked the soup. Ellie May won the... Does any money come with this? No, just publicity. Out and out fraud. <laughs> and I will not let the bank get involved. Granny's got to be told in no uncertain terms to confess the truth or I'll blow this contest wide open. Chief, I'm sure you're going to make me tell her. Now, why are you putting your hat on? Well, someone has to drive the getaway car. <laughs> you do. Is, uh, is this a home of Ellie Mae Clampett? You mean the rich, beautiful, young, unmarried girl that won the cooking contest with Snyder's soup prize soup? Yes, yes. No, this ain't her home. <laughs> it, it isn't? It belongs to her pa. Oh. But she lives here. Come in, come in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Ellie's granny. Well, I, I'm Stafford Clark of Savory Soup. Uh, this gentleman represents our advertising company. Uh, Roger Dickerback. Uh, Dickerback, Breedlove, Burnett, Henderson, Postalway, Johnson, North Cross, and Wesson. <laughs> By the time they call you for supper, you've done missed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my company name. Well, excuse me if I treat you like family, because I'll never remember. <laughs> may, uh, may we meet your granddaughter? You mean the rich, beautiful, young, unmarried girl that won the contest? Y yes. Tell her me. She's out in the kitchen, as always. Just loves to cook, that young'un. Say, how, how do you feel this? Young, wealthy girl loves to cook, spends all of her time in the kitchen. Well, well, what's the catch? I'm afraid we'll find out when we see her. You mean, she's got to be a real beetle. <laughs> She sure is a sight, ain't she? Ah, Roger, let's remember why we're here. <laughs> Miss Clampett, I want to congratulate you for cooking the best shape uh, soup. Ellie, this is Mr. Clark. Well, howdy. How do you do? And this fella's name is Roger. I can't recollect the rest of it. Take her back. Uh, how, how do you do? Howdy. Tell her your company name. Dickerback, Breedlove, Burnett, Henderson, Postalway, Johnson, North Cross, and Wesson. <laughs> How would you like to carve his headstone? <laughs> Mr. Clampett, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you that I think that Snyder's surprise is the most unusual and the most delicious soup I ever tasted. I like it, too. Uh, could you tell us uh, how it's made? Okay. Well, what she means is she can't tell you. But if you put her on television, she can show you. Why, that's an excellent idea. Well, Granny, I never been on television, I know, honey. <laughs> but I'll be right there, handing you things, helping you. That's all right with you, ain't it? Well, I, I think I would prefer to use our own home economist, uh, Sally Savory. Oh, she can help you. Well, Granny's the only one that's ever made it's not a surprise. What? Uh, what she means is it's a family secret. Handed down, word of mouth. Now, could your Miss Savory stand there and hand Ellie a dab of this and a smidgen of that and a touch of something? Well, I, uh, I hardly think so. Um, well, there you are. She needs me. You ain't just a whooping, Granny. <laughs> what do you think, Roger? Well, it might have commercial potential. Old family recipe kept secret for generations finally revealed to savory soup. And we give it to the world. Right. Let's take the idea back to the ad agency and brainstorm it. Good thinking. We'll run it up the flagpole and see who salutes it. <laughs> Plug it in, see if it really lights up. Put it on the train, see if it gets off at West Point. Now, just a doggone minute. You ain't gonna run our soup up no flagpole or put it on a train. <laughs> just a figure of speech, man. Well, 
Now, young lady, it looks to me like you're, you're going to be on television. <laughs> well, first of all, of course, you'll have to sign these releases and authorizations. Uh, <laughs> she uh, is 21. She ain't no such thing. Why, that sweet child is just barely past 14. 14? <laughs> well, give or take a year or two. Oh, well, I'm afraid then uh, these papers will have to be signed by, by her mother and father. Well, I ain't got no ma, and my pa ain't here neither. He's done gone to the high country. Ain't that pitiful, poor <laughs> child? I'll sign the papers. <laughs> He'll be coming back, though. Who will? My pa. Ain't that pitiful? <laughs> Give me the pen. <laughs> He's just out hunting with my cousin Jethro. Nobody tells me nothing around here. Oh, uh, I think we'd uh, better wait and get Mr. Clampett's signature. There he is now. I'll have him sign him and fetch the papers back to you. Oh, under the circumstances, I think we better witness this signature. <laughs> you better come with me, Ellie. That front door's awful hard to open. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chief, we tried. I guess they're not home. Move over. Get back there, you coward. Mr. Drysdale, you're just the fella I'm looking for. Stop her, Miss Hathaway. Save me. What are you scared of? All I want's a little favor. Oh, well, what is it? Come out to the kitchen, pretend you're Jed, and sign his name to some paper. Wait, you want me to impersonate Mr. Clavin and forge his signature? That's all. Come on. Now, wait a minute. I, I can't do that. You got to. It's the only way I can get Ellie on the television and get her a husband. Why, well, sorry, I can't do it. Are you refusing to do me one little old favor? Well, yes. Granny, he could be sent to prison. No. If he ain't gonna do it as a favor, I ain't gonna force him. <laughs> Just go to the kitchen and tell them fellers to forget about it. Ellie and me will commence packing. <laughs> I promised myself if I didn't get Ellie a husband this time, we were going back home for good. No, we... Four years in Beverly Hills is enough. This quick as fish dry. But, Grant... Just get Jed's money bailed. We'll be leaving first thing in the morning. Spot. Go to prison for forgery or give up $60 million. Oh, I'm sorry, Chief. I wish there was some way I could help. Chief, don't, 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 don't look at me like that. No, Chief, just wait. Relax. Your job will be waiting for you when you get out. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I find these papers in order. I'm certain that I can persuade Mr. Clampett to sign them. That's oh, wonderful, Mr. Drysdale. Oh, glad to do it, glad to do it. J.D. Clampett has a lot of money in my bank. And I feel sure that it's going to make him feel good to know that he's doing business with fellow depositors. Uh, but, Mr. Drysdale, uh, I don't believe my company has uh, an account with your bank. Neither has my ad agency. Really? Oh, my, that does present a problem. <laughs> oh, yes, very clannish, these hill people. They like to feel that there's a sort of bond, you know. Well, it's, it's too bad. It, it could have been a, a great campaign. Uh, well, now, wait. Uh, maybe I can my company to open a small commercial account uh, if I put on the pressure. Me too. Gentlemen, you're using a word I don't like. Pressure? No, small. Uh, how's the uh, medium? Try again. Substantial? Keep going. Large? You just made Mr. Clampett a very happy man. <laughs> Come in, J.D. We're waiting for your signature, Mr. Clampett. It's all right, they're fellow depositors. A very bashful man, excuse me. <laughs> so if you got your hair cut, you could hear better. This is Mr. Clark and uh, Mr. Dickback. Well, I'm happy to meet you, Mr. Clampett. Hold it, hold it. Mr. Clampett, you've got to stop taking these long hunting trips while you're down to skin and bone. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Clampett, I, I'm sure you're going to be very happy to know that both my own soup company and uh, Mr. Dickerback's ad agency are opening substantial accounts at Mr. Drysdale's bank. What kind? Uh, uh, large. Uh, right. <laughs> Sign here, J.D. Not until you promise to get that there 
Why, upstanding, efficient, hard-working secretary of yours, arranged. What? <laughs> and I think it's high time she was getting in love with their pension and uh, profit-sharing plan, too. <laughs> I'll take it up with her later. You can count on that. <laughs> you have your promise now, uh, in front of these here witnesses. Okay, I promise. A substantial raise. What kind? Large. <laughs> Large raise, pension, and profit sharing. And I'll throw in hospitalization. She's going to need it. <laughs> well, gee whiz, Granny, do we have to go back home? You want a husband, don't you? Well, sure, but... Well, you ain't gonna get one out here. We've been yelling suey for four years. Ain't got a hog to the trough yet. Granny, you won't have to leave. Everything is all set. Mr. Clement just signed the papers. Tell me he's gonna be the savory soup girl. We'll be back in a couple of hours for a taping session. Be back for a what? Oh, just a technical expression. It means they're going to put Ellie on television. I'll have me some gentlemen callers then, won't I, Granny? You betcha, honey. And be sure and smile a lot. Show them your teeth don't need fixing. <laughs> Raise is $10 a week. Make, make that 15. 15? All right, let's, let's say 12 and a half. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Ah! Well, uh, don't let this gun scare you. I've just been out jumping a few jacks. You from back home? Kinfolk? Must be from Granny's side of the family. Uh, I figure you got her frame. You sure ain't got her mouth. Now, don't you worry, Charlie. I'm going to see you everything. Oh, Paul, thank you for signing them papers. Oh, Jed, you did sign the papers. I thought that maybe Mr. Dryden. Who'd that goomer? Maybe your kin? I ain't never seen him before. And now, young lady, I'm going to Mexico. Goodbye, everybody. Jed, I am not going to face this alone. Miss Hathaway, what is the meaning of this masquerade? Oh, come now. Dog as it is, Miss Jane. Miss Hathaway? I demand a full explanation of your behavior. Have it on my desk when I return from Mexico. Mr. <laughs> Deal? Yes? Seems to me that there's more than one fox here with feathers on his mouth. <laughs> Supposing we all sit down at the table and give all the chickens a chance to cackle. <laughs> all right, Granny, can we see you at the kettle, please? That's it, right there. That's good. All right, let's get a balance of the sound. Would you say something, Granny? Am I on the television yet? Uh, not yet. Another minute or so. Granny, uh, while we got a minute, I just want to tell you how I'm proud of the way you're taking this. Right is right, Jed. But it sure wouldn't have been right to have Ellie make the soup on the TV. Oh, I agree, Jed. Don't worry, Ellie, get herself a husband. Of course she will. And we'll have the pleasure of knowing that she got him without no trick. You're so right, Jed. Oh, Mr. Clampett, would you step out of the picture, please? We're just about ready. Well, you betcha. Well, uh, good luck. Thank you. All right, Granny. Are you ready? Howdy, all you folks out there in television land. I'm fixing to show you how I make Snyder's surprise soup. It's named after Snyder Swamp back home. Because it's made from all the critters who live there. <laughs> First, you just start with a good, rich gator stuff. I reckon some of you city folks calls it alligator. But back home, we don't use the alley. <laughs> Did you call me, Granny? Bless my soul. If it ain't my rich, beautiful, young, unmarried granddaughter, Ellie May Clancy. <laughs> Look at that smile. Ain't a tooth in her head me. I might have known. <laughs> I reckon she's gonna have a swim in the cement pond just to cool off from all that work in the kitchen. Just loves to cook that girl. <laughs> Well, 
now it's time to say goodbye to Jed and all his kin. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to this locality to have a heaping helping of their hospitality. Hillbilly, that is. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, here. This has been a Filmways presentation.